Hello friends, this video on matter and surroundings part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The other property is that the particles of the matter actually attract each other. See, to do this, let's try to break. Let's take iron rod, this iron rod, and let's try to break it. It will be difficult to break. Let's try to break wooden scale. It will be easy to break. Let's try to break rubber. You'll feel a little different when you try to break it. Let's try to break chalk. Pretty easy to break. Plastic pen. Difficult to break. Pencil. Easy to break. So these are easy ones actually to break. These are very difficult. So if you see, going by the definition, all these are matter because this is mass. But when you try to break them, it's not the same game always. It's very difficult to break iron, very easy to break chalk. Why? It is because these particles of matter attract each other and they are binding together only because of attraction. These particles attract each other and these attraction actually is the cause of the strength. So you study in higher classes why in some case the strength is more because attraction is more. In some case the attraction is less and thus it is V attraction is lesser here more attraction so more attraction between particles okay here attraction is lesser between particles so this is the attraction actually between the particles that decides the strength of a given matter. So this also proves that these particles attract each other. So what we have studied till now, matter, matter is anything which has mass, it is made of particles. These particles are in constant motion, they attract each other, they are very small in size, they have space between them. So these are all something we studied till now. So let's do a recap. We understood that matter is made of particles. Any matter, if you see, is made of particles. These particles have space between them. If you see here, there is a space between the particles. These particles are in constant motion. If you see, I have made a picture like this. It looks like it is moving. They are in constant motion. They attract each other and that's why if you see the chalk is easier to break. Iron is harder to break. And that's why you can say that there is a force of attraction between these particles. Right? And, these, and that's why if you see diamond is very strong because it forms a structure, it's a form of very complex crystal-like structure and they have very huge force of attraction between them and chalk is easy to break because the force of attraction between the molecules or the particles is less. Let's take some question now. Which of the following are matter? As I told, anything that has mass is matter. Chair, do you think chair has mass? Yes, chair is a matter. Air, air do? Yeah, yes, air has mass. Air is a matter. Love, love is abstract now. Love is not having any mass. Love is just a feeling, just an imaginary thing. Smell, smell is also actually imaginary thing. Smell is not a matter. Hate is also imaginary thing. Almonds, yes, it has mass. Thoughts, do you think any mass for the thought? It's all imaginary. Cold ring. Cold. Cold is, is this a matter? No. Cold again, when I say things are hot or cold, it's just abstract now and there is no mass to it. But cold ring is a matter, yes. Smell of perfume. Smell is again smell. It doesn't matter. It is not a matter. Please note. Love, smell, hate, thought, cold, smell. Again, these are not matter because it doesn't have any mass. Guess the reason, give the reason for the following observation. The smell of hot, sizzling food reaches you several meters away, but the, to get the smell from the cold food, you have to go close. So the question says when you enter a kitchen and something your mom is cooking, you can actually smell it. But if a food is prepared last night and it is even kept on the dining table, you will not feel the smell. 
Why? Because see when you heat it, when it is hot, so when you hot, the temperature is what? Temperature is high. Temperature is high, that means kinetic energy of particles is high. So let's suppose you are somewhere here. Okay, so if it, if it is hot, the kinetic energy of the particle is high, and these particles, since it will have high kinetic energy, will jump out of this food and it will enter your nose. Since these particles will enter your nose, you will feel the smell. Okay, so the reason is pretty easy. We know that the particles of the matter are in constant motion. We know that particles. always in constant motion. You may be surprised to see that even the hard substance like your pencil or the pen inside that the particles are actually in constant motion. The motion is a little less in case of solids but they are in motion. Okay. Now as you increase the temperature the speed of this particles, the kinetic energy of this particle increase, the speed of this particle increase and these particles can easily reach your ears even if you are few meters away and you can feel the smell. The next is a diver is able to cut through water in swimming pool. What does, what property of matter this observation show? See we have seen that uh, matter has space between them. Also there is a force of attraction, right? particles attract each other attract each other in fact both are complementary if you will study in higher classes the more is the space between them more is the more is space between particles lesser is force of attraction between particles. This is something we will see. Okay. In higher classes also you can see actually you know, if you talk about the gas, gas has more space between the particles. We will study that. And the force of attraction between them is less. This is gas. We talk about solid. The space between the particle is less and the force of attraction between them is more. Uttar complementary. In this case also in water water molecule the space between the particles is more. Okay. The space between the particle is more so the force of attraction between the particles is also less and thus the diver can easily break through it. You can easily break through it. You can cut through water. Actually if there is a running tap and if you put your uh, finger between the water, the running water can actually cut through the water. Same thing when swimming also you actually cut through the water. Why you could cut through the water? Because the space between this is little less. But in the sand you can't swim because in case of sand the force of attraction is more between the particles. So you can't swim in the sand. But in case of water you can swim. Okay. It all depends on the force. You, can, you can't swim in the iron pile. You can't do that. You can't swim on the sand also or in soil also because it all depends on the force of attraction. In this case, the force of attraction between the particles is less and the size between these particles is more. You can actually cut through. Okay. So it talks about these two properties and these two properties are actually uh, complemented to each other. What are the characteristics of particles of matter? We have seen that characteristic. First is they have space between them. There is space. between them, they are in motion, they are in constant motion and there is an attraction between these particles, right? Matter is made of particles and particles have these properties. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, 
find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.